All right, we are on the way to the city right now. We're shooting the POV with the Insta 360, and uh, yeah, let's see, let's see how it does in low light. And we're gonna be shooting some 50 millimeter, 85 millimeter, and probably some 35 millimeter, because I always bring that as my backup lens. So let's uh, let's head into the city of Copenhagen and uh, and see how it goes. All right, we hit the main train station. So what we're gonna do now is to uh, create a track. So we're just going to start tracking. This one is currently running. It's OSM Tracker for Android. And that means it will gather GPS data of where I move. And it will output it to a GPX file. And then we can later basically say exactly which way I went. And I'm going to try the same thing on my watch to compare the two tracks. So some of the Garmin watches, based on either the workout you do or... Like if you just enable the track me function, they will do the same thing and you can download the GPX track from the website. Let's see how that goes. So the last time I was here, it was a little bit foggier and that building over there looked super, super good. last Friday before Halloween so all of the costume parties are happening today so that's actually pretty helpful because people will be having a good time they'll probably not find it weird if somebody asks them if they can take a picture and stuff like that very happy about that so we can kind of abuse this as a fake tripod I did bring a real one but it's Obviously, always a hassle. And from down there, there was a really beautiful angle for this as well, which I only got on my phone last time. So I want to see if I can squish my camera over the fence or something like that. So there's a pretty tight fence. Let's see if we can get around or above that. So we're in uh, Kulbyn, the old meatpacking district of Copenhagen. And there's uh, lots of bars, lots of great kind of street food places. Um, yeah, it's generally a great place. It looks a bit rough around the edges and stuff like that, but it has so many like beautiful corners with, uh, with a lot of contrast, with interesting light. You can see the car coming through up there. So that's kind of what I'm here for. It's like lots of containers standing around and this is kind of like the, the typical facade of the buildings. You have like the glass front of all the old uh, kind of more warehouse style things. And uh, yeah, lots of interesting lights as you can see. So I bet that's gonna be, that's gonna be good. As you can see the, the pavement is nice and wet. So I think we'll, We'll see if somebody walks through just the same way. That looked super nice. Three silhouettes at once. That is exactly what I'm looking for. That is so good. Very, very old filmmaking trick to just make the street wet so that you get your night shot and you can actually see your characters at all. Back from when uh, film wasn't very light sensitive. It was a very commonly used trick. Uh, for example, for the film The Third Man. Um, I'll, I'll try to link some sort of other video about that in the description. We have like the bars, so if we can get the bars kind of exposed to true black or something. I think that would look sweet. And then we get the light source at the top and then we crop off as much as the bottom as we want. 
don't care. It's a bit of a kinky one, I guess. Okay, this is great. So there's basically illumination in the top left corner, which means we'll get really cool silhouettes of the people walking behind it or the bikes riding through or whatever whatever vehicle. I would love to, <laughs> of course, get somebody on an electric skateboard or something, but uh, they're not that frequent in Copenhagen, to be honest. But maybe we'll get a scooter. That would be awesome. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> nice. It's always nice when you can look up after you take the shot and the people smile back at you. That is really, really cool. Because I think a lot of people are like hesitant, right? They don't want to ruin your shot or something like that. When you're actually just like, that's what you're waiting for, right? You're waiting for them to, to be in the right location. Okay, we're gonna wait for one more, uh, one more traffic light phase, and then we're we're moving on. We're gonna go high speed, and then we're gonna try to follow the traffic from over there as they go here. Oh, we can also follow the cars around the corner already. Good practice. Ah, but they obviously have to wait for the pedestrians. Oh, the motorbike looks sick. That looks really good. Nice. Oh my god, with the jacket as well, that looks so sick. Okay, now for the real, real follow shots. Okay, bus action. It's always like such a gamble if you get it or not. <clears throat> bit of a uh, bit of playing with the settings and stuff like that. So the fair always puts a lot of effort into decorating, and currently they have uh, the Halloween theme going on. So there's like pumpkins and spooky stuff all over the place. You can kind of see the lights. It's always a really really beautiful location. Um, we're not going in tonight, but I do enjoy it every time. It's always so good. There's always lots of people, lots of vehicles. Could not be happier. Uh, I think there's a good store down there. They have a pretty illuminated, or pretty bright lights on the outside. Okay, not sure how that turned out. That was a beautiful scene. Nice. People are getting really swallowed up by the light. That looks really, really good. Can I take a picture, take a picture of us? Yeah, yeah. You want to come with me? Okay. So we're going to use this as our fake light. And then when I say now, you can smile, okay? All right. Hold on. Pretty amazing. It's all because of the light? Yeah. So, so then you just like completely get rid of the background and stuff like that. That's a good picture. Thank you. Uh, can I take one where you're uh, kind of looking into it? Yes. So if you if you kind of yeah yeah, yeah nice uh, a little bit for the back a little bit for the back. Yeah. Okay, and then a little bit closer together maybe, and then just look that way. Yeah. 
sick. Good Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so day. much. Okay. Have a, Have a nice night. I can't believe how kind people are. And especially the people that are just staring and just walk up and go like, hey, you want to take our, can you take my picture? That is so nice. Hello. Can I take a picture when you're vaping, like from behind, when the big vape cloud comes out and stuff like that? Yeah. Yeah? Nice. Okay. Sorry, I don't want to encourage people to smoke, but it looks cool. Oh my god. Yeah, please. I take pictures. There we go. Can you do it one more time without getting getting bad lungs? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, beautiful. Especially great with the costumes, not gonna lie. Oh, oh my oh, god. Got the pink. <gasps> They're so nice. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, so when we make a stop. I'm gonna seriously need to ditch my hoodie because it's getting far too warm. And then we're gonna step on the 50 millimeter. We're gonna see what we can get with that. Well, something very unfortunate happened to us. Action cam ran out of battery. So we're gonna have to make do without it. We're still gonna try out the 50 millimeter. And uh, yeah, 